Pontius Pilate is a key figure of the Passion of Jesus, but very little is known about him. Italian writer Massimo Centini has scoured history, archaeological evidence and the legend surrounding the man who washed his hands after condemning Jesus to death. Pilate is, in my opinion, immortal. Every one of us has at some point or another been like Pilate. We've washed our hands in many different situations. Obviously less serious than those of Pilate, but in some way just like him. Pilate's modus vivendi continues to exist. In his book, Pilate, an investigation of the man who killed Jesus, he explains that there are many historical sources besides the Gospels that show that Pilate and Jesus lived in the same period. Many consider Pilate to be a link between Christ's death and resurrection. But maybe Pilate was a prefect like many others who, I would say, crucified many other people claiming to be the Messiah, the Son of God, etc. He says the apocryphal Gospels play a key role in his research on Pilate, a figure so ambiguous that some of these texts even consider him a saint, because he let Joseph of Arimathea take Jesus' body from the cross instead of having it thrown into a mass grave, as was usually done. The apocryphal Gospels have always had a humanizing role. They give a historical sense, so to speak, to events history doesn't mention. They have the same function as myth, which uses its own language to explain things unexplained by history and science. Pilate, an investigation of the man who killed Jesus, is an intriguing book that sheds light on one of the most important and mysterious figures of the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus. Doctors, researchers, and historians help us decipher the most remembered crime in history. For the first time, we look at the mystery of the cross from a scientific perspective. The Passion of Jesus a medical investigation.